everyone. Happy Wednesday, almost there. I'm very happy to be here, but at the same time, I have mixed feelings because since we don't have Friday announcements, this is my last announcement for this academic year. And there are always mixed feelings about endings or new beginnings. So with you, it's I hope to keep in touch as much as we can and see you as often as we can. But in the meantime, we are here um, hoping you have a very good exam week or final projects, final essays, and thinking about what would be the last uh, message from me to you. I put together my usual PowerPoint and um, because I think uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful uh, year that we can summarize um, and celebrate together. And for that, it's important that we honor the work that we have been doing and we reflect on the value of education and what we are trying to do here at Fenwick every day. So uh, this image, I love the water. Uh, I think it's very peaceful. I am, that is my desire for all of us, for our community inside Fenwick and outside our walls. And so what is the final message if there is such a thing as a final message? Let's begin with a prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So this is um, my choice for today and I hope it is your choice for today. A celebrating diversity in our unity. Almighty God, through your Holy Spirit, you created unity in the midst of diversity. We acknowledge that human diversity is an expression of, our, of your manifold love for your creation. We confess that in our brokenness as human beings, we turn diversity into a source of alienation, injustice, oppression, and wounding. Empower us to recognize and celebrate differences as your great gift to the human family. Enable us to be architects of our understanding of respect and love. Through the Lord, the ground of all unity, we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So here we are with the announcements first, so that I don't forget them. And mentors are wanted and needed and appreciated. So if you want to be a mentor of our incoming freshman class, please make sure that you go to our website and you read the expectations, you apply, you email Ms. McLaughlin. By this Friday, uh, next week, we are going to announce the uh, who have been, um, who qualify as mentors and they will have a first training meeting via Zoom next week. So um, share your wisdom, your experience with the incoming freshman class. Think of the things you wish you had known when you were coming to Fenwick. Good luck in your exams. And I chose this image even though I, with my daughters, the good luck meant, okay, study hard, put all the effort and pray to the guardian angel so that he or she helps you remember everything you have studied. So that is my wish for you. Good luck, put all your effort and remember what you have studied. But the final message uh, was a reflection on what do we mean by educate? And what do we mean when we want to educate our students and ourselves? It's a lifelong project, wisdom and virtue. So I cut and pasted this definition to educate from Marian Webster. Yeah, and my generation, we would go to uh, paper dictionaries, this is a digital version, to provide schooling, to train, instruction, to develop mentally, morally, or aesthetically, especially by instruction, to provide with information, to educate a person. Uh, but it's interesting because if you analyze the etymology of um, to educate, it's from Latin educare and educare or educatum, and there are two sides of education. One is to bring up the best of what is already there in all of us, to nourish, to train, to mold. Um, and this is coming out from the child. But at the same time, education is something not imposed from outside. This is from a website, but actually it's an external growth that, we, that is the role of the teacher also to inspire, to stretch outside our comfort zone. So I think at Fenwick, we do both of them and we balance, balance them very well. And the longer you stay with us, the more 
we try to develop your gifts, but also have you stretched outside your comfort zone. This is one of my favorite quotes on what is education uh, from the book Beauty for Truth's Sake on Reenchantment on Education by Stratford Caldecott. Education is our path to true humanity and wisdom. You have heard that before at Fenwick. So what is wisdom? What is virtue? Um, and again, T.S. Eliot says, we need to retrace our steps to find the wisdom we have lost to knowledge and the knowledge we have lost in information. So at Fenwick, we want to do both. We want to train our students to use their freedom, balancing faith and reason so that they become truly free, fully human. You've heard that before. It is the nature and calling of the human being to know, to know the truth, being, wisdom, goodness, happiness, virtue. We seek for that. So what is virtue? It's a trait of character that enables a person to flourish. So it implies a habit, repetition, learning. Um, it is also by uh, Aristotle defines that as the perfect balance between two vices. So for example, you can think of courage as a virtue, being a coward when you lack courage or being reckless when you have perhaps too much courage based on the circumstances that you're not achieving a good life by those actions. So virtue is a disposition to behave in the right manner as a mean between extremes of deficiency, cowardness, and excess, recklessness, which are vices. We learn moral virtue primarily through habit and practice rather than through reasoning and instruction. So that is something that we really want you to do at Fenwick all the time, being mentors, being a good student, being a good classmate. But the ultimate goal of our education is how do you define good life? What does it mean to be happy, okay? To lead a good life. How do we focus on matters, uh, on things that really matter? Uh, and how do you live up to your own potential? The educare. Why does it, some people succeed? Why do some people succeed in the, using their freedom wisely where others don't? And we have seen that all along, how we have been inspiring you, what society is reacting we have been doing that all along. And I went back to my celebration, our celebration of the International Women's Day and how we mentioned that we have equal dignity, all of us, men, women, regardless of our color, language, ethnicity, whatever you call that. And that is the Fenwick message and has been ongoing. And it's interesting how providential it was that in that PowerPoint, when choosing images of ladies, Harry Tubman was there. Mother Teresa was there. So we are finishing the school year. We want you to practice good virtues in the summertime, good virtues every day, to begin again, to understand that the acquisition of wisdom is a lifelong project, and to understand that we are here to educate you so that you have a life that is uh, that becomes your best self, you're fully alive, fully human, fully happy, and that's our wish for today and every day at Fenwick. Have a good exam day, a good project day, a good essay. Give your very best, that's all you can do, as I told my daughters, put all the effort, be happy, be fully alive, and take advantage of the Fenwick education because we do not react, we do not confront, we educate. God bless you. Take care.